All right. Rick Lesnar was the first reporter. Then Dave Rayfield, I guess, validated it because he used to work for ESPN and stuff. Um, Amazon Prime, PBC, PBC are going to do their first show March 30th. If it was rumors, that was going to be March 2nd. I guess it was too soon. All right. I guess it was too soon. So, uh, so they're going to do it uh, March 30th. Not sure who's going to kick off the show. I was rumored that Javante Davis is supposed to kick it off. Um, a lot of guys been sitting on the pine. Um, uh, you know, a lot of you guys been sitting on that pine. And they just got to, you know, pretty much, you know, wait their turn or whatever. But um, it ain't a lot of dates. I mean, you know, according to Danny Garcia, he did an interview. And so Al said he got something big. So, I, you know, I don't know what something big is. Pause. But, um, yeah, I don't know what something big necessarily is. This is just this Amazon Prime deal. Maybe it's some more details. Maybe it's some more fight dates. I don't know. He said Al Heyman never lies. So um, we know he ain't fighting Ares Nani Lara next because they ordered Michael Zephyr fight now since they took so long to make that Danny Garcia fight. So it said PBC Amazon Prime video set date to kick off a new deal. Dan Raphael. He said, while well, it's been quite publicly, quiet publicly, Premier Boxing Champion Amazon Prime's videos are working behind the scenes. As they wrap up for their launch of their new partnership, which they announced early December, he said the deal will was unveiled. Those involved said the first event of the multi-year deal will begin in March with a commitment to 12 to 14 shows annually. So a commitment. Maybe there may be room for more than 12 to 15 shows, you know, because that's not a lot of dates. The first event of the deal is slated to take place March 30th. Knowledge uh, sources with knowledge. Of the plans told five freaks united on thursday which fight will be on the show have not been determined because it is not, has not been settled on if the car will be pay-per-view which likely is likely according to sources or non-pay-per-view it is dependent in part of amazon finishing uh building out the platform that will handle the pay-per-view purchases one of the sources says so do you have it so the reason that the 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 the, the, the city, it ain't happen faster is because Amazon got to build you know they got to build the technology part of it that can handle the pay per views. So there you have it. There you have it. So it's going to be a pay per view. So you kick something off with a fucking pay per view. You can't even kick nothing off free for free for the uh, fans. Come on. You can't even kick nothing off for the fans. So they want y'all to pay off back. That's wild. That's wild. Like I said before, man, this, this model ain't going to last, bro. This lotto, this model is not going to last. Mark my words, this model is not going to last. It's not. They're going to be right back on the streets. And they're going to be right back with no home again. And that's just the honest truth. So that's just my opinion. They hide, you know. So now they got to end up building the, uh, the technology, the technological, the technique, tech, technical, technical side of the infrastructure to build the pavement. That's what's waiting, taking so long. I told y'all this shit is gonna go to pay per pay per uh just pay per view the whole thing. You're going to be paying per fight card, man. What nobody paying before? Why would somebody who not paying on Showtime 
who is a VIB, a, a, a Viacom company, right? Which Viacom damn near own everything. CBS, MTV, BET, Nickelodeon. You go on and on and on. Why would somebody come in here and pay this? Riddle me that, Batman. Riddle me that. Amazon is still building a rapport with customers. A lot of their customers don't even know Amazon Prime fucking exists. Think about that for a minute. And you want people, your hardcore fan base who wasn't buying your pay-per-views at Showtime, you want them to come over to Amazon and buy your pay-per-views. Don't that sound like a, a, a recipe for disaster? I'm just saying. Don't that sound like a recipe for disaster? This don't even sound like a plan that's going to work. Come on. You know, it sound like another finesse album. You think the fight's going to be any better? You think the fight's going to be any better on Amazon Prime? You crazy. A crook is a crook. And with Amazon not giving up no money, with Amazon not giving up no money, what do they care? All this going to be on Al Heyman dollar. And they probably want him to prove that he could do numbers before they put up any money. And that ain't going to happen. And we know if they're going to make it a pay-per-view, it's going to be Tank Davis uh, versus some Mexican. We know that. Probably Eastside Cruz. You know? So, but... Like I said before, I don't really understand, you know, how they, what they really, uh, you know, what they, you know, what, what, what they trying to accomplish. That's what I'm trying to figure out. What they trying to accomplish. I'm dead ass serious. I don't understand what they're trying to accomplish. In business, if one model don't 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 if one model don't work, you switch it up. Right? And Al Heyman, only time he really switched it up. The only time he really switched it up was when he knew Showtime was didn't want to renew their contract, so he started making some fights. And then they weren't trying to make them fights. Ryan Garcia and Tank and Terrence Crawford, they went they went out there and they forced for, they forced for them fights to happen. Don't forget that. They went out there and made them fights happen. So they weren't even they weren't even trying to let Tank fight Ryan Garcia. Garcia had to jump through a thousand uh loopholes. Come on. That's wild. So, but nonetheless, it is what it is. It is what it is. But, you know, we'll see, man. This this won't last long. Trust and believe me, this won't last long. This will not last long.
This will not last long. Al Heyman is a crook. A crook is always going to be a crook. Listen to your boy. This is why Don King is no longer still around. This is why. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video um, financially. If you want to support the channel, cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. Um, check out the box room or playlist. Hit the link tree. Uh, you can find me everywhere from Kick, Twitch, Amazon Music, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.